All right, so yeah, so we'll do this little summary here. And it, you can do it on the video pretty stinking well. Now there's the bigger swing. Yeah, so when the bigger swing happens, remember, you tend to get more above the line, right? On all the ones today, look at this. On all the ones today where you took the smaller swings, like there especially, you're dead on the money, right? So that is very much why I want you doing a lot of those smaller swings because it gives you the better chance of feeling the right stuff like there on the new blue and this was yeah this was one of the ones yeah where you turned your hands over better and this swing you just made right there yeah so you turned your hands over well but it was above the line that's why it kinda of started straight instead of starting out to the right like we want it to but compared to where you were starting out today Yeah, see, here's the first swing today with your full swings. There you go. Wow. So the rub is, again, remember, according to the dragnet analogy, there we have category one's a video, two is your perception and feel of the shot, three is the ball flight. And four is Joel's education, experience, and expertise. So I want you to appreciate that almost all day today, you're getting on that line better and better, on the new blue line instead of the old gold that we saw over here starting out today. Okay? It, it's just that your feel and perception and the ball flights have to, there you don't see any left arm on the new blue, which is what we want. So. It's just that your feel and perception and ball flights have to get caught up with how good it's looking on the video and how much I'm liking it. You see what I mean? But I want you to appreciate, again, that the, the best ones you hit today were usually the three or four or five or six that you hit right after I swung the club with you because that was helping you feel the right stuff. Okay? So, um, so yeah, man, that, that's the main thing. So it's the same thing we worked on last time. You just haven't had time to make it a habit yet. You know, it's only been a week and busy with work and rain and everything else. So that's the feel. And like I said, use those practice balls as much as you can. Yeah, if we don't have them, they're at Golf Galaxy, I know for sure. And they're only about 10 bucks for like two dozen of them. So, so beat them to death in the backyard, man. Taking that small swing. Okay? And use the Category 3, the ball flight, to pretty much tell you what it really looked like on the video. See, that started to the right. It's just that you had your hands a little too open right at impact. See, they closed, but right about there is where they closed. Just a little too early, or a little too late. Yeah, those happened a little too late on that particular shot. And here they closed. See, there at impact, that face is squared up. You were above the plane line swinging left. You lost the first medicine there on that one. Okay? So let me go through these, in fact. So this is... Again, like the first swing got on the video today, and with the full swing. This is like the second swing got on the video when you're making your full swing starting out today. And from the face on angle, remember I showed you how your glove was still visible afterward, whereas the tour players, that glove would be hidden by that point in the follow through. And then it's underneath their right hand at that point. Yep, then you're starting to make the smaller swings there. So the glove's still on top because we weren't working on turning the hands over at first. We're just working on getting it back on plane and already, there you go, man. Starting to get it better and better on plane. And I had you hitting a lot of balls today to try and help you so that's closer right than you, what you started with closer and closer to that line that one too was closer and closer to that line as we went through them. And there you got it even more there you go that's when they started you know you hit three or four or five of them that really felt quite strong there you go with that small swing it went really far when you got the sweet spot around it 
you see, you see what I mean. I mean, you're pretty much pulling it off today on the video just about every time. If you were not on it, you weren't far away like that one. You weren't far away from it. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Just hitting a ton of balls. And then when you come out here to practice, hit five or ten small ones to loosen up that way. And then try five or ten big ones. And if they don't go great, or if they do go great, go right back to the five or ten small ones to really see the ball starting to the right. Yep, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yep.